Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back. If you're new, what's up? Oh God, I'm so embarrassing. In today's video, I'm going to give you the number one secret on how to lose weight, um, on how to keep weight off. It is super simple. Um, it's not like a crash fad diet. You don't have to make a fucking soup or a tea or whatever. Um, this is something you could start doing tomorrow and see results in two weeks. So this is kind of gonna blow your mind. Not really, but um, just, this is the number one thing you need to do in order to lose weight or reach your goals, whatever, whatever your goals may be. Um, and it could be financial goals, it could be fitness goals, it could be relationship goals, whatever it is. Um, this is the thing that will change your life. I'm not talking on my ass and here's why uh, about a couple so I guess I started I've always felt like bigger like a bigger girl um, I'm pretty thick <laughs> mm. um, but I played a competitive sport my whole life and even in my sport I was always like a little bit taller and kind of like curvier than the other girls and I was always so um, self-conscious about that and then kind of I got to college and I was like, hell yeah, I'm feeling myself. Freshman year, doing great. I'm thin. I'm feeling sexy. Well, okay. Oh, I hate myself. Um, freshman year went great. And then sophomore year, which was 2015, I think, I stepped on the scale in the spring of 2015 or 2016. And I was like, oh shit I was 192 goddamn pounds that was crazy um I remember at the time like none of my clothes fit and I was like why don't my clothes fit <laughs> like nothing looks good I need to shop um but it was because I was fat <laughs> didn't want to admit it to myself and like I don't want people to be like you're not fat blah blah no like <laughs> I was fat it's okay like we all go through periods in our life where we're not at our best and it's all about kind of how you recover from that so, so yeah i was 190 pounds i was like something has to change uh, my boyfriend at the time was like you should check this out it's this thing called rp which is renaissance periodization um and it's just like a, another diet plan but it's actually based in like science and what your body needs to thrive and be healthy <clears throat> so if you're completely new to the, like the dieting game and by completely new i mean if you've done the fad diets, if you've done the 10 day military diet, if you've done teas and whatever, you're new, okay? Educate yourself. Um, if you're interested, I can go through what RP does on a very basic level. But if you are kind of a little bit beyond that or you can't afford that because it's very expensive, um, then stick around because I have some good things I learned from them that I can now share with you. Um, so at the time I did one-on-one -on -one coaching for three months. I got down to like 170 pounds, which I was like, fuck yes, I'm so hot. I'm like fit, I'm fun, I'm flirty, I'm fresh. Um, I was feeling really good, which is awesome. And then I went again. Um, and I was like, I stayed about 170 pounds for all of my junior year. Um, and then going into my senior year, again, that stress ramped up, <clears throat> trying to figure out what to do after college just like relationship stuff like life happens um and i let that completely derail me um and i ended up back up at 181 pounds i think i decided to like get back into doing some sort of routine um i did a six week challenge with my one of my best friends and my roommate at the time siobhan um and it was through this kickboxing gym called nine round and it was it was great it was really great it teaches you kind of like how to portion your plate properly, how to eat enough. And we put up $300. And if you completed the goal, you got your money back. And if you didn't, you were shit out of luck. And being <laughs> college students, we could not be shit out of luck. So we were both super, super strict. Um, I think what really helped me during that time was having someone I was living with who was doing the same thing. So find someone in your life who will either do it with you or be you can be accountable to, or someone who is kind of on the same track as you. Um, anyway, that kind of got off topic a little bit. Um, so I did this, I lost 20 pounds, I was 160 pounds, I felt great. And then 
I stayed 160 pounds until I guess August and I went back up to 170. I was like, uh, oh no. And then I was like, well, psh, whatever. Um, I was going through, I was trying to get a job. I started my job, I didn't love my job. Um, again, I turned to food as a security blanket and I went back up to 186. And I <clears throat> started this diet called anabolic fasting, which really, really worked for me. That being said, this does not work for everybody. This isn't the, the big secret, but I'm just kind of share with you what I did. Um, so you know I'm not like talking out of my ass here. Um, I'll show you kind of like at the start of the challenge, at the end of the challenge, and then um, in August, kind of so how I maintain that from March to August. And now I'm pretty much the same weight. But basically, um, here's the secret. It's discipline. That's it. End of video. How bad do you want to reach your goals? How much are you willing to sacrifice to get where you want to go? It's really a, a truly simple concept. And when your motivation is high and when something's new, you're like, hell yeah, I'm fucking healthy. I'm drinking water. I'm getting my protein. I'm taking my supplements. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And then Friday night hits and it all goes out the window. Um, so what I had to learn was discipline. And when I was doing anabolic fasting, it meant I was only eating from noon to 8 p.m. each day. And 8.01 hit and I did not put another thing in my body except for water. And I was very, 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 very strict on that. I had to figure it out. Um, if you want someone to tell you about discipline, um, and kind of when it really clicked, cause I had always, I knew, obviously everyone knows, consistency, sticking to the plan, but those are the most basic ways you're gonna fucking do what you wanna do. But honestly, what really like clicked for me was, um, there's this guy named Jocko, some of you may have heard of him. Um, and he is a former Marine, um, or a SEAL, sorry. And he's like this badass big fucking dude. And he talks about discipline. He wrote a book, um, Way of the Warrior Kid, which is a children's book, but it's about how to have discipline. It's really, really dumbed down. And it just, for some reason, it really clicked. Um, and if you don't wanna read the book, here's what it boils down to. There's three simple things. Have a plan, stick to it, ignore yourself, <laughs> okay? You need to start day one with the plan for what you're gonna do for the next four, eight, 12, 16 weeks, whatever it is. Um, you need to sit down with yourself and go, hey, what do I want? What is it? Write it down. Every single thing you need to do, you need to write down with a pen and a piece of paper because there are studies that show you're 30% more likely to complete a goal if you're writing it down. So that's step one is write shit down. Step two on how to find discipline. Um, there's this game I like to play with myself and some people, I don't even know where it came from, um, but I think it's called like the seven question, seven layers of questions or whatever. Um, and it basically works like this where you go, okay, what do I want? I wanna lose weight. Why do you wanna lose weight? I wanna lose weight because I don't like the way I look in the mirror. Why don't you like the way you look in the mirror? Because I'm, you know, lumpy here, fat here, I have cellulite. Why do you have those things? Because I haven't been eating properly. I haven't been do exercising. I haven't been doing the things that I know. Why not? You just go, go, go until you get to question number seven. And that is kind of the core of your motivation for why you want to do something. So my advice would be to sit down, write out your first like big thing that you want to do, and then ask yourself why or how or what or when whatever the question is related to your goal. Um, and once you can understand the meat, the like soul of what you want, it becomes so much easier to hold on to that when you want to have a cheat meal, when you want to go do something that like, you know, you really should be doing. Um, so for me, it was, I don't feel good in my skin. I feel fat, I feel ugly, I feel gross, I don't like feeling this way, I feel weak, I feel lazy, I feel all these things. And it really, it honestly, it came down to, I don't like relying on food to make me feel better. I don't like not treating my body the way that it deserves to be treated. Um, it might be different for you. It might be, I wanna be a fucking Insta baddie and I wanna make money on Instagram. 
okay girl get your get your check get your shit get whatever it is you want but you have to be disciplined and it's not discipline for a day or an hour it's you have to have that discipline day in day out you need to be consistent and like it's not gonna be some diet plan it's not gonna be some tea surge like no you have to decide today what you want and then go do it it's really simple it's really really easy but you have to take the time to sit down with yourself and have an honest conversation with yourself which not a lot of people like to do and, and i'm making this video now because i have been really lazy i've been getting <laughs> super high at night and eating whatever i want i haven't been going to the gym i like a lot of the things that used to and still do make me feel really good about myself i stopped doing and i realized that i stopped doing those things because they're hard to do it's easier for me to just, oh, i just want to go home and watch netflix or chill or i really want a burger i really it's so easy to let yourself have the things you want because the voice in your head the the demons inside of you telling you to do these things right now that's the stronger voice because it's the voice you're feeding so when you can get into that plan and it's like it's not even do i want to do this do i not want to do this there's no option it's just okay i wake up at eight o'clock in the morning i make my bed i do this i do this i do this is when i eat this and it sounds crazy and you don't need to do it forever i don't do that anymore but in order to kind of get yourself into that mindset mentality that's what you need to do and if you really want it it's not going to seem crazy and if you don't really want it then it's not the time you need to be in the right headspace and like it's not enough to just want to look good in a bikini on your vacation in mexico in january it's it has to be more than that and i'm not saying that that's not a valid reason but there is something underlying that reason that's driving you to do something about whatever it is so i'm not, I'm not trying to sell you anything I'm just trying to give you information and trying to cut through some of the bullshit I see online. Like, fuck girl, you don't need to put lemon juice and cayenne pepper in your goddamn water. Just drink a gallon of water. It's so simple to get where you wanna go if you're willing to do the work to get there. And I read a thing like two days ago and it was like, if you wanna quit, that's fine. But you have to quit tomorrow. You can't quit today and chances are tomorrow you won't wanna quit. So if you're ever like, I really wanna fucking quit, I don't wanna do this anymore, quit tomorrow. That's fine, no one's judging you. Just do it tomorrow and see where, see where it takes you. Oh, that security blanket and when I'm like sitting in bed, I still wanna fucking just munch on a bag of chips or have some ice cream or whatever it is, but my why is so much bigger than that desire. So um, you just gotta find it and that's pretty much it. I was just editing this video. Sorry, I look like such a mess right now. And I realized I hadn't done an outro. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have questions or you need an accountability buddy or really anything, please don't hesitate to reach out. And I hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.